everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a short video tutorial on Inkscape and how you can clean up some images to use with your cutting machine, whether it's a Cricut or a Silhouette or any other kind of cutter that you have. So I've already imported my image here. I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger. Well, if you hold shift and then pull the arrow, it will keep it the right, the same size. It'll hold its, its values. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to trace this. So we're going to come up here to Path and Trace Bitmap. It's going to pop up your Trace Bitmap dialog box. This really just has one color. Actually, it's got a, a white background in there. Um, so I'm going to choose colors. I'm going to uncheck smooth. I'm going to tell it that I just want two scans and I'm also going to click on remove background. I'm going to update and then I'm going to click OK and that's going to that's going to trace it for me. And it's really fast but it's done. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to move this off. Okay, so I've clicked on this one on the left, and if you look down here at the bottom, it says that that one's a path. That's the one that I just traced. This, when I click on the original image, it says image. So that's how you know that that's the one you need to be getting rid of. You've got your path, which is what you need to cut on your cutting machine. So we can actually just delete that one. This is the image we're going to be working with. And I had two scans, so I'm just going to click on that and make sure that there's not a group there. And there's not. So, what I need to do, I need to clear out this little space in here. I need this to be open. Somehow, in the original tracing, um, it didn't get a good trace, so we need to open up this space in between these two objects here. There's a couple different ways you can go about doing this, and when I was messing with this earlier, what I discovered was it's really going to be easier to do this by erasing in there just a little bit first, and then you can go in your edit node feature and then you can straighten it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in by plus, pressing the plus on my keyboard so that I can really concentrate on the area here that I need to get rid of. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to my panel and choose the eraser tool. And if you look up at the top, my, right now mine's set on 14. I'm going to downsize that just a little bit. I'm going to go down to 10. And then I'm just going to make a, a little swipe right through here just to get rid of that excess in there just a little bit. I'm not real good with the eraser tool in here, but that's, that's all I need right there. So now I'm going to come up here to the Edit Path by Nodes tool. I'm going to click on that. And then when I come over here and click on my image, it's going to pop, pop up all these squares, and those are the nodes. And you can change things around by, by moving these nodes around. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. As you can see, where I did that erasure, it made a lot of little nodes right there. So basically, what we're wanting to do is open this up. We want this part down here to flow evenly into this. Okay, We've added all these nodes by erasing. There's a node way up here as I, as I move my screen up. Here's a node up here. That's the closest one to down here where I erased. And then Here's the next node. I can come in here and draw a square 
around all of these nodes or as many as I can get and I can come up here up here at the top this is everything you can do with with the nodes when you're in this node editing tool and if you hover over it it tells you what that does there's where you can insert a new node here is where you can delete selected nodes you can join selected nodes you can break the path at selected nodes which at the very beginning there were actually two circles there you could go in and you know break the path and join the nodes and all that the easiest way and then of course here are other different options but what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete selected nodes just by clicking on it okay and then I'm going to draw another square around these and I'm going to delete those and then you get something like this I can push that little handle from that node back up to that node I can push this handle down and then I can mess with trying to make this look as smooth as I want I'm gonna back out just a little bit by hitting the minus key on my keyboard and you can see it's not perfectly smooth there but that's an easy fix I can just click on this node right here and delete that I can click on this node here and delete that and then if that doesn't look exactly the way I want I can move these nodes by just clicking on it and and moving you've got these little handles that can change the way things are shaped as well just by moving those around you can open that up you can close it in I'm gonna zoom back out now I'm gonna click over here on my select and transform and as you can see it's opened up nicely and you've separated it just that quick now if you do something that you don't want to do you can hit control Z as many times as you need to it will undo what you just did so you can do control Z control Z control Z control Z to get back to wherever you want to be so that is a quick and easy way to do a node edit to clean up some designs for your cutting machine I hope that's helpful uh, maybe that'll get you to where you want to be on your designing in Inkscape if this is your first time at my channel please hit the subscribe button down below and also if you'll click on that bell that will notify you each and every time that I upload a new video give this video a thumbs up that will also put this video out there for other people to see it thank you again for stopping by and I hope you stop back in again sometime and check out some more of my videos thanks y'all have a good day bye now